Today in this video, we are going to see the design of pushdown automata. We are going to see the design of pushdown automata for this language. L is equal to W C W R, where W belongs to A comma B, the whole star. W is a string of symbols A and B. W R is the reverse of W. I have given two examples here. Here W is A B B. W R is B B A. What is the pattern of the language? It says A, B, B. In between we have the character C and W, R comes into picture. B, B, A. Similarly, there is another example where W is B, B, A, B. W, R is the reverse of this W which is B, A, B, B. Now W, C, W, R is this string. Okay, what is the language or the pattern of strings? This L describes it is in fact a language of palindromes. I can even more call crisply as odd palindromes. It means every string is of odd length. Now let us see the logic before designing the pushdown automata. In the input tape, I have kept a string, the very first string, which is an odd palindrome. As of now, this track is empty. This is the first half of the string. And this is the second half of the string. In between the first and the second half, we have the middle character, which is C. The pushdown automata starts reading the input in the input tape from left to right. So whenever it reads the first half of the string, the symbol, whatever it reads, the same symbol gets pushed onto the stack. When it reads A, push A onto the stack. When it reads B, push B onto the stack. When it reads another B, as far as this example is concerned, push B onto the stack. As soon as it sees C, the PDA realizes it reached the middle of the string. When it reads C, there is nothing to do with the stack. Now it is continuing reading the rest of the string. When it reads the second half of the string, the very first character in the second half of the string is B. When it reads B, the expected symbol, what is available at the top of the stack is B. So, the string, what it is reading and what is available at the top of the stack, if both are one and the same, pop. What it is reading at the next instant, it is reading B. What is available at the top of the stack, it is also B, so pop. It is reading A now, top of the stack contains A, so pop this symbol. Now it has reached the end of the string. Always end of the string is indicated by epsilon. That time we are expecting the stack must be empty. Then only the given string belongs to the language. In fact, the first half and the second half of the string is compared like this. This B is matched with this B. This B is matched with this B. And this A is matched with this A. If there is a match between the characters in this pattern, then the given string is a palindrome. So this is the logic. Now let us design the pushdown automata as per this logic. So we are going to write the transition rule. I have given the transition function here. The transition function itself is uh, given as a columns. K defines a current state. Sigma defines the input symbol. Input symbol may contain epsilon also. Top of the stack. And the last column indicates what is the change in the stack and what are the symbols we push or pop out of the stack. So to begin the design of the pushdown automata, let us assume that the current state of pushdown automata is Q0. From the Q0, the very first character, what we expect to be read by the PDA is either A or B. When it reads the first symbol, that time the top of the stack contains Z0. Z0 means, in fact, the stack is empty. So, these are the two possible initial configurations. The state of the PDA is Q0. The first character, what it may read is either A or B. When it reads the first character, the stack is empty. So, if this is the configuration, what must be the reaction of the PDA? It is going to continue to stay in Q0 itself by pushing the symbol whatever it reads onto the stack. If it reads A, push A onto the stack. If it reads B, push B onto the stack. Now, the state of PDA is still Q0. 
what might be the second symbol of the PDA? It would be reading from the input tip. It might be A, it might be B. What might be available at the top of this track? The top of this track may be A and the top of this track may be B also. So we are actually getting four different input configurations now. Let me explain once again. The state of the PDA is Q0. The second symbol may be either A or B and the top of the track may be A or B. So we are getting four possible input configurations. So how the PDA has to react for this configurations? Continue to stay in Q0. The top of the track is A. That is what this column says. Above the top of the track, whatever the symbol it reads, the same symbol is to be pushed onto the track. So in this case, the state of the PDA is Q0, the top of the track is A, the symbol what PDA is reading is B. That's why I have written as Q0, B, A. Let me repeat for the rest of the transition rules like this. Q0, A, B here. In this case, it is Q0, B, B. Now let us guess what might be the third symbol the PDA reads. Again, the third symbol may be A, R, B. At that time, top of this track also may be A, R, B. So, these four rules work if the second character, third character, fourth character, etc. can be A or B. In fact, these four rules may be executed in loop. After some point, still the state of the PDA is Q0, but for the PDA, it happens to read the C, the middle character. When it reads a middle character, again the top of the track can be A or the top of the track can be B. So I have defined two possible input configuration once again. If this is the input configuration, what might be the reaction of the PDA? Now the status changer to Q1, indicating that the PDA has entered into the second half of the string. But it has nothing to do with the top of the track. So we just retain the symbol as it is. You must know the difference between this configuration and this configuration. Here the top of the track is A. Above that we are pushing A. But in this case the top of the track is retained as it is. Nothing doing with the top of the track. So whenever the PDA reads C, it has nothing to do with the top of the track. Now after reading the middle character, the state of the PDA is changed to Q1. Now from the Q1, it starts reading the second half of the string. In the second half of the string, what are the expected characters? The expected characters are either A or B. So let us write that. When it reads A, what must be there at the top of this track? A must be there at the top of this track. When it reads B, B must be there at the top of this track. Then only we can say the input whatever is stored in the input tape is a palindrome. So if these are the input configuration, continue to stay in Q1, whatever is available at the top of the stack, we pop. Even in this case also, continue to stay in Q1, whatever is available at the top of the stack, you remove. It means this B is replaced by epsilon. In this case, this A is replaced by epsilon. Again, these two rules get continuously executed for the rest of the characters in the second half of the string. After some point, again the state of the PDA is Q1. Now it reads epsilon, which is the end of the string. That time we expect the stack must be empty. If this is the case, change the state to Q2, retaining that Z0 as it is. Now, announce that Q2 is the final state. So, Q0 is the initial state, Q1 is the intermediate state and Q2 is the final state. Throughout the design of the PDA, we have used three states, Q0, Q1 and Q2. When the state is changed from Q0 to Q1, from Q0 it is getting changed to Q1. As soon as it reads a character C, it means the middle of the uh, string. From the Q1, it is getting changed to Q2. As soon as it reaches the end of the string epsilon, that time we are expecting the stack also must be empty so that it can enter into the final state. 
Now we see one example which further explains the working of the PDA. Let us take this. We try to explain with an example. Uh, this is called as instantaneous description. What is instantaneous description? It describes what happens to the state of the PDA or to the state of the finite control and the contents of this track on reading the input symbol at a particular moment or instant. So let us consider this example. Imagine the start state of the PDA is Q0. This is the string available in the input tape. Now the stack is empty. What happens at the next instant? The state of PDA is Q0. It is reading B. When this B is read, this B gets pushed down to the stack. Now let me write only the rest of the input symbols what the PDA has to read. Okay, what happens at the next instant from the state Q0? Now it reads A. What is available at the top of the stack? B is available. As per our logic, irrespective of top of the stack, we continue to push the symbols onto the stack till it reaches the middle character C. So this A was read by the PDA and it pushed the A onto the stack. Now this is the rest of the input symbols available in the input tape. Okay, at the next instant, from the state Q0, it reads the C. When it reads the C, the state is changed to Q1. The remaining input symbols, what the PDA has to read is A, B. And there is no change in the contents of the stack. Now, when the state is changed to Q1, it means the PDA has entered into the middle of the string. It is going to read at the next instant, the second half of the string. So from Q1, it continues to read the second half, which is A now. At that time, it checks what is available at the top of the stack. If the symbols are same, it continues to stay in Q1. The remaining symbol is B. And this A is removed or popped from the top of the stack. So it is B, Z0. Again from Q1, it is reading B. Continue to stay in Q1. This B is also read. So there is nothing in the input tape. That I am indicating by epsilon. This B is popped from the stack. Whenever we have the scenario Q1 epsilon Z0, which is the last rule, Q1 epsilon Z0, the PDA enters into the state Q2 without disturbing the stack contents. It means the stack is empty now. And Q2 is the final state. Whenever the PDA enters into the final state, the input whatever we have considered is a palindrome. Or the string belongs to the language L is equal to WC, WR. I hope you have understood this problem. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.